showing you what a force is. Oh, you mean it's like a push, a push? Okay. Or a pull. And a pull. Okay, got yeah. it. You're right. Force is a push or a pull. Let me do it again. No, no, I'm good. Please. Okay. For example, like gravity. Can you demonstrate oh. gravity, please? Nice. Or like, wait a minute here. Wait, wait. Like a magnet. Here, we're going to do extreme close up. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, okay. Or contact force, which, oh no. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, it's like that. Uh -huh. So that would be force. A push, push or, a, or pull. a pull. Right, good. Okay, but forces, you can have different kinds of forces. Two kinds. You can have balanced or unbalanced. Okay, balanced. All right. Good, bounce. So that means the forces <laughs> on one side equal the other side. And then we have unbalanced. <laughs> like that. That would be unbalanced. Okay. Oh, I so, like that part. Oh, okay. Okay. So the balance force does not change the object's motion. The object is going to stay where it is. Okay. So in this picture, we have a force pushing on the car this way. And a force pushing on the car that way. Those forces are the same, so the car is going to stay still. Wait, let's use our, our demonstrations Doing car of science. Thing. Okay, here okay. we go. So if we're pushing on the car... If our forces are balanced, the car will not move. However, if they're not balanced, if one force is stronger than the other, it will start to move. Okay. okay? So if it stays still, they're balanced forces. So the any, object's motion doesn't change. In fact, if there's... Yeah, okay. Right? Right. Okay. So the opposite is the unbalanced... Okay. And with this, this is a little harder because friction, we, we live where friction is and gravity is. Because if I actually was in space and I pushed this car in space, it would just keep going and going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny, <laughs> except it would just keep going because there would be no force to oppose it. Stop it right? So these forces cause the object to start moving mm -hmm. and to stop moving. So that the car would just keep going in space until it hit some other object, and then that was exactly the same amount of force, and then would cause it to stop. If it was more force, it would cause it to push the other right, way. Right, to change its direction. Or change direction, like if it was not exactly to uh, one angle, it could change the direction. The yeah, exactly. So um, that's the way unbalanced forces work. So when in opposite direction, the box moves in the direction of the larger force. So we have a larger force, the, in this case, the car. Yeah. Okay, so the car would move. That way, because right. I have a bigger force pushing that way, right. right? All right. And then this one, if there, if you don't see the force over here, and you just have a force pushing this direction, it's obviously going to move the direction of the force. Right. So it, it's going to have a direction. Yeah. Force. Okay. Good. That makes pretty much sense. Yeah. Okay. So while you have these balanced and unbalanced forces. You could have work being done on the object. How do you know if there's work being done on the object, though? Well, if there is work, the object will move some direction if there's work being done. In fact, if we do the formula, the formula is, is force times distance. Right. So no matter how hard I push, push this wall, the it doesn't move any distance, so there's absolutely no work being done. Mm -hmm. But if I just barely have a little bit of force, but I move this car, then there's work being done on the car the because car is moving. it is moving. So it's got to be force times distance. So you got to have some distance for there to be work to occur. Right. So you need to remember, work is not done when there is no motion. If the object does not move, there's no work being done. And you should remember that from last year. Yeah, that's just kind of reviewing. Oh, that is a big... Inertia! Inertia. <laughs> What's that mean? Well, the bigger the mass of an object, the harder it is to move or to stop. Okay, so if I have more mass... <laughs> see, you move me. <laughs> she can't move me because I have more mass than she does. Okay, well, hopefully. <laughs> well, think of it like this. If, if your mom asked you to move the refrigerator and she asked your cousin to move the microwave, which one's going to be easier to move? The microwave. The microwave, because yeah. it's smaller. So the right. bigger the mass, the harder it is to move. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so, unless acted on by an unbalanced force, moving objects will keep moving and objects at rest will stay at rest. It's kind of like we were saying, you know, like, in, you kind of have to think about it in space because we always have forces here on Earth that are slowing us down. We have gravity yeah. and friction. So, it doesn't really work as well on planet Earth, but if you were in space, if I push this in space, it would just keep moving and unless it had another force opposing it. So, that's the way you... Well, show them, show them here what that would look like on Earth. Okay. So... If we were, if this rabbit was in our car of science and we moved him, he stops because there is a force. We have the force, the mass of the book, and, the, and if you'll notice, the book moved just a little bit because there is a little bit of mass here and a lot more mass there. We'll do it again. And you can see it stops the car because there's a so force. So if this wasn't here, the car would keep moving. It would keep moving. Okay. It absolutely would keep moving. Okay. Okay. So, what we notice we notice we have our rabbit strapped in for safety, <laughs> safety right? Because you always want to buckle up. You do. What happens if you don't buckle up? Well, by buckling him up, you're making him part of the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. By unbuckling him, not safe. It's not safe, and here's why. He is still. He is not going to be part of the car. So we'll see what happens when an unbalanced force is placed on the car, but not on the bunny. Okay. So you want to do that now? Yes. Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh, the oh, bunny Oh, the bunny fell out. Do it again, do it okay. again. You do it, you do it. Okay. Show me how. Okay, make sure it's just not me. Okay. Here we go. Be safe. Okay, so why did the bunny keep moving? Well, probably because the object's in motion stay in motion. And he was in motion. He was in motion. But nothing was there to stop him. Right. So he kept moving he kept even though moving. the car stopped. This force stopped the car. But it did not but stop, the bunny, stop the bunny. So the bunny kept on moving. Well, that's sad for the bunny. It is sad. He should for really the bunny. wear a seatbelt. You really should wear a seatbelt. Oh, man. Yeah. Every time. You should buckle up for safety. Buckle up for safety, yeah. yeah. Okay. So is that all we have? That's all. Okay. Well,. The last thing is, remember, stay safe, buckle, buckle up, up, and... It's the law. <laughs> Bye. Bye.